Hi, my name is Fred Glass, and I'm the president and CEO here at Gleaners Food Bank of Indiana. And we are so glad that you're joining us today because we literally couldn't run this place without our awesome volunteers. We serve a 21 county area throughout central and east central Indiana through about 300 food banks. So a lot of what you'll do today is help us serve them to serve in turn uh, our neighbors facing hunger. And then we also run a major uh, pantry right here in our building. As a food banker, we're more like a wholesaler, but here we run our pantry like a retailer to provide uh, directly to our neighbors in need, which comprises about 15% of the food that we provide folks. So you will be an integral part of all that, including our curbside service, uh, Gleaners To Go, uh, home delivery for people that just can't get out, and then a, a, an often unknown uh, service, our Fresh Connect Central. We're actually a, a wholesaler, if you will, to food banks around the country in the Feeding America network um, that aren't otherwise able to obtain food. Speaking of obtaining food, we're often asked, where do you get your food? And it's about a third, a third, a third traditionally, a third from our trusted donation partners, food manufacturers, retailers, and so forth, about a third uh, from the government, and then about a third we actually purchase in the marketplace. Because our need is going up so high and government support is going down, we find that we need to buy more and more of our food. We're up to nearly a half of that, and our budget has tripled uh, in the last several years. And unfortunately, we think that's a trend that's going to continue. So that's what we do. We acquire nutritious food on a massive scale. You help us convert that into providing it for our neighbors. In fact, collaboration is embedded in the purpose that we've set forth uh, for ourselves that you'll find all over uh, this building on our purpose, mission, vision, and values sign. Our purpose is united with others, Gleaners optimizes equitable access to nutritious food for those of us facing hunger and strives to overcome the conditions causing food insecurity. It is not an accident that our mission starts out with united with others because collaborations are right up front. And again, as volunteers at Gleaners, you are our most valuable collaboration partner. The faces of hunger may surprise you. Many who need assistance are middle-class families, the working poor, children, and the elderly. We believe that no one should suffer from a lack of access to nutritious food, but oftentimes they do. In fact, close to 1 million Hoosiers are in need of food assistance. Food insecurity can dash the aspirations of children and lead parents and other adults to make very difficult choices about what bills to pay and what other needs to meet. When we think about food insecurity and who that neighbor is, quite honestly, it's any one of us. You can lose a job, you can have a reduction in hours. It can be something such as a single health event, a car accident, or an illness, and suddenly you can find yourself in need. Unfortunately, the need is back up to and really beyond pandemic levels, and people wonder why, given that the medical piece of the pandemic is over. Well, uh, costs have dramatically risen at the same time, uh, wages are stagnant. Our folks, they are working, but they just aren't making enough money to cover the expenses that they need. And when that happens, they find themselves in our line. Gleaners could not do what we do without the help of volunteers. It takes about 20,000 volunteers a year to process food donations and run our distributions. Volunteers provide the value of about 30 full-time employees and save the organization more than a million dollars a year. All money that we can put back into supporting our neighbors. We love being able to empower volunteers to join us in the fight against hunger and show everyone how just a few hours of your time or a few dollars can make a dramatic increase in the lives of our neighbors. We're so excited that you're here supporting us today, and we appreciate you choosing to give just a little bit of your time to support those in need in our community. Although Gleaners is a food bank, we're also a working warehouse. That means that there are many operations happening all around you, and you should be alert and aware of your surroundings at all times. Volunteers should always walk within the yellow pathway in the warehouse. This is a safe route that will ensure all forklift traffic will go around you. Volunteers must be escorted through the warehouse at all times. If you need to leave early or come back for any reason, please let a staff person know and we will escort you back up front. Per OSHA rules, all volunteers must wear closed-toed shoes when volunteering. In order to stay alert and aware of your surroundings, volunteers should not use cell phones while in the warehouse. You may take photos of yourselves or other volunteers in designated safe zones only. If you need to make or take a phone call, please see a staff member so we can escort you back up to Volunteer Central so you can make the phone call safely. Volunteers should never wear headphones or earbuds while volunteering. 
Volunteers should leave all personal belongings in their cars or lock them in a locker before heading out to volunteer. Gleaners is not responsible for lost, stolen, or broken valuables. Food and drink are not allowed on the floor while volunteering. Volunteers may have plain bottled water with a lid. If you didn't bring water with you, we will hand out bottled water during your shift. Help keep your volunteer area clean and free of trip hazards. If you see something that looks unsafe, please notify a staff member immediately. There's a lot of moving equipment from pallet jacks to forklifts to vehicles, so please make sure to be cautious around these machines and keep your toes and other body parts at a safe distance. You should report any injuries to a staff member right away. Staff will document any and all injuries to make sure we continue to provide a safe environment for everyone. A staff person will direct you to a first aid kit if needed. When lifting heavy items, make sure to lift using your legs and team lift as needed. While you may not necessarily see the neighbors we are serving today, the food you will be working with will go to a neighbor in need. You should always remember that someone will be receiving this food that you are processing. So it's very important that we follow all food safety guidelines to ensure that they receive the top quality product. Poor hygiene is the number one cause of foodborne illness. So it's very important that we keep a clean and safe environment. Never wear your volunteer vest or apron or any other personal protective equipment into the restroom. You can use the hooks provided outside of the restroom to ensure your PPE stays clean. It's also important to keep our food bank clean as well. You should never put food or food boxes directly on the floor. Use a pallet or cardboard to stack the food on. In the event of an emergency, there may be alarms, lights, or announcements on our PA system. Please follow the direction of your assigned staff supervisor. In the event of a tornado warning or drill, our staff will direct you to shelter in one of our designated safe zones. In the event of a fire or fire drill, our staff will direct you to the closest exit to leave the building and will gather at designated muster points for check-in. There's just three more rules to remember during your shift. Follow the golden rule. Treat others the way you want to be treated. During your volunteer shift, you'll work with a variety of staff members, volunteers, and neighbors. It's important to treat everyone with dignity and respect. If you see something, say something. Gleaners prohibits discrimination based on any protected class or status. It's important to report any instances where you notice or experience harassment or discrimination. Please let a staff member know immediately. What happens here stays here. We want to respect the privacy of our neighbors. You should never take photos of our neighbors or their identifying information. And if you see someone you know in our food pantry line, you should never share that information with others. And don't forget the most important rule of all, have fun. After this orientation, we'll turn you over to a staff member for specific training related to your assigned project. They'll show you how to use any tools necessary to perform your project, like using a pallet jack or the proper way to wear PPE. At the end of your volunteer shift, we'll have you stop with enough time to clean up your area and make sure it's ready to go for the next group of volunteers. We'll end with a quick debrief so you know how many meals you helped provide today. The fun doesn't have to stop here. There are so many ways to get involved with Gleaners after you leave today. You can sign up to volunteer again, on your own, with your family, or with a group. We have all types of volunteer projects for volunteers ages six and up. Word of mouth is our best recruitment tool. You can help us by simply sharing your experience or the photos you took today. We'd like to challenge you to share your experience with just two people to help spread the word. Finally, when you donate to Gleaners, your dollar goes even further. With our purchasing power, we can provide more food and healthier food than we can with donated food items. There are so many ways you can support Gleaners. You can donate online at Gleaners' website. You can also swipe your card at a dip jar before you leave today. You can even borrow a dip jar to raise money for Gleaners at your office or a special event. You can host a virtual food drive to raise money among your friends, family, or colleagues. You can also ask your employer if they provide matching gifts to nonprofits or host a corporate volunteer event here. Every dollar you provide will feed multiple families. We're all in the fight against hunger together. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to help us here at Cleaners, but more importantly, help our neighbors facing hunger. Mm -hmm.